you matter, right? But there's a reason why I told you matter. I didn't, I didn't tell you you matter just to hear myself talk. Like, I, I didn't say you matter because I wanted you to get on some emotional roller coaster. No, the reason why I told you you matter is because you'll never have, you'll never be, you'll never do. Listen to me, you'll never experience life the way you were supposed to experience life until you recognize that you matter. Now, now it's important for me to let you know that you are powerful beyond measure. Listen to me, I told you last week because perhaps, perhaps I don't know, your daddy wasn't in your life, your mother wasn't in your life. I don't know, you didn't have a mentor. I don't know, but you you may have never heard someone look you in your eye, look you in your soul and tell you that you not only matter, you're powerful. I remember, I remember, I remember sleeping in uh, abandoned buildings, eating out of garbage cans. I remember coming home, bringing home C's and D's. I remember not living up to my full potential. When you do what what you've been born to do, what you've been called to do, what you've been birthed to do. Nobody can't do it like you. Nobody can sing the way you sing. Nobody can speak the way you speak. Nobody can write the way you write. No, nobody can love the way you love. Nobody can do play that piano. Nobody can play that saxophone. Nobody can play that violin. No, nobody, nobody can do poetry quite like you can do it. Nobody can produce the way you produce. Nobody can write scores the way you write scores. Are you hear what I'm saying? You're powerful. When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself. Let me share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. You decide, I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. See, that will start making you do some stuff. See, a lot of people go to work every day miserable and all they do is just talk about how miserable they are. But they don't do anything about it. It's not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. That's rough. How people look at you. How they respond to you. It's very hard. But you know that in order for you to get where you want to go, this is one of the hoops that you have to flip through. So if it's hard, then do it hard. Now, what do you, how do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. It's possible that we can have our dream. Yes, it is. Other people have done it, then we can do it. We fail a lot of times. Well, a lot of other folks fail. And eventually they came back and they succeeded. So it's possible we can have what we want. And we know that we want to get it. It's necessary that we align ourselves with people that think like we do. It's necessary we get negative, do-nothing people out of our lives. It's necessary we never stop learning and growing and developing ourselves. It's necessary that we never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. People can't do something themselves, they want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Period. A friend of mine who walks, he runs a marathon, he says, when he's running the 26 mile marathon, he said, let's say that hypothetically, that 18th mile is the wall. He said, Les, when you get there and you're running, he says, everything in you is telling you to stop, to give up. Every muscle is aching. And you're saying to yourself, I can't do it. I can't do it. And you just keep on and you keep on and you keep on. It seems like you're moving at slow motion. And then eventually when you break through that 18 mile wall, then you know it's like done and you're on automatic and you glide on in and you know it's there. You know you're going to get to the finish line. 
And we've all had experiences where we were working on something and we knew it was possible and we did those things that were necessary to bring it into reality. We took the responsibility to make it happen. Other people couldn't see it. A lot of people didn't believe it. You were attacked.